IP law that protects intellectual property is very complex and is very country specific as well. And even you might protect your artwork in a certain country, but it's, you're not protected in another country. And it's very expensive to get uh, IP protection across 40, 50 countries. Uh, so the costs add up, especially if you're an art project or a small business project. Companies like Disney, they have a huge number of lawyers and they've been protecting the copyright work. So they've been doing the necessary trading, uh, the necessary filing for trademark protection. They've been going after uh, people and schools and businesses and uh, uh, commercial entities that have been using uh, the uh, characters of Disney without uh, without permission. So there's a, there's a full process behind it. What artists and small businesses can do in this is they can look at two paths, either one path in hopes of making making their their characters public uh, um, with no protection. They could go under like Creative Commons Zero or other uh, types of licenses saying that you're allowed to use it as long as you attribute the artist. And the end goal of this is to gain more popularity and having it more recognizable. So that, that's one path. The second path would be to actually protect it and, and copyright it. And for them, the first step would be, and the simpler and the most cost-effective step would be to uh, protect uh, that artwork in the country that the uh, that the artist is resident in, and maybe another country that they want to expand to, or it's it, they're hoping to be their, their primary market.